Kay and Michael are here, though. Okay, so um, what? So we are recording right now. I do want to co cover the instructions for our project one more time. Okay, all right. So tomorrow we're going to work on um, creating our food webs, and as we do so, <coughs> I already asked that you have the main worksheet downloaded to your computer, your color worksheet downloaded to your computer, and the rubric downloaded to your computer. So if you haven't already done so, or you're just getting in, download those three and save them in the Miss Gales folder. OK, and then once you've downloaded all three, you need to open them back up. All right, the the because what's going to happen is this is, for example, this is the Orange Teams um, document. OK, so I've given everybody three ecosystems to choose from um, and nobody else has the same three. All right, so the Orange Team for an example, they have desert, temperate rainforest and cold climate island. And the reason I left orange because you guys, I need to make sure you understand. Do you see how I have temperate in all capitals? There's a tropical rainforest. That's what we're used to when we think of rainforest. There's also a temperate rainforest, and that's the one that would be one of y'all. So when you look at that, make sure you get animals that go in the temperate rainforest, which brings me around to what I need to tell everybody. When you choose your ecosystem and you choose your animals, you have to be careful to be sure that those animals go with that ecosystem. All right, that's what the main part of the project is. So what you're doing first is we, as soon as I turn you loose to your groups, you need to share each other's emails and then open these documents in Google Docs. All right. Um, you need to open this, these in Google Docs so that you can all write on it. The first thing I need you to do is everybody writes their name on the list right here. This paper here is going to be for like brainstorming. All right. And you, this area right here, you just brainstorm the ideas, um, <clears throat> what you think you might want to do, what animals you like. And if you're trying to decide, which food chain one of the best things to do is pick your favorite animal and then build a chain up and down from there if you're if you already have a favorite animal that lives in that ecosystem just choose your favorite and see if everybody else goes with it now this this part of the worksheet is for brainstorming then you're going to hit the space bar down and add you another page that's for the actual picture all right so this this area here is for brainstorming where everybody works together and does brainstorming. Then you add another page to the bottom and that's where your actual picture will go on this sheet right here because I only need one of these for the whole group. All the group together gives me one sheet there. Now the other sheet here. OK, this is the main worksheet right here. You, I also ask you to download this one so you have to share this on the Google Docs as well. All right, because each person, I want each person to take a couple of these questions and then share it with the rest of the team. But this one, everybody turns in their own. You are working together on these questions, but everybody turns in their own. The picture, I just want one for the whole group. OK, I hope that makes sense. Let me see some thumbs. Did that make sense? OK. So, so far so good because I have some other things, <clears throat> some other things to cover. Each person turns in their own question. Go ahead and give me some thumbs if you understand me. Each person turns in their own questions, but you are working together to get them answered. The whole group turns in one picture. OK, good, so good. Now when you get ready, so keep the thumbs coming if you're understanding me. All right, so what you're doing with the the, the questions OK, the questions must show the evidence where you found them. The page number in the book or um, if it's one of my videos, the timestamp where I said whatever this is or if it's your notes. Now the notes is going to be tricky. The notes, if that's where they are, that's a great big document and I need to know specifics. But here's how you handle that. I hope you're all listening. If you if there's something in your notes that's going to answer one of these questions and there are. In order to access that, you know that your PowerPoint is 100% exactly the same as your notes. The PowerPoint is exactly the same as your notes because that's where you got them. So just open up the PowerPoint and tell me the slide number. That'll work, OK? Since you can't tell me specifically where in your notes you found something because it's all a single document, find where that part is on the PowerPoint and give me the slide number. And then if you have to um, Google something or research something, then you the same way you would give me a reference when you're finding um, you tell me the, the same way you would document a reference that you found information. Okay, let me get back over here. Let whoever this is in admit. 
um, hang on. Come in. All right, so um, <clears throat> now the thing about doing these questions, okay, it is group work, okay? Everybody's answering questions. Everybody's turning in their own sheet, but you're working together. Let's say somebody named Susie, because there's nobody named Susie here. Let's say Susie gets this question right here. Consumers are grouped by. And when Susie gives the answer to her group, the answer is pretty much lacking. It's probably not correct, and it's kind of lame. Uh, you have a question for me, Miriam? Because I've got some more to tell about that specific thing right there. No? Okay, okay, so let's say, let's say that, so what you need to do, if Susie gives you an answer that's less than perfect, because you guys will be judged, I'm great in the whole sheet. If Susie gives you a crap answer, the whole team's going to suffer. So what I need you to do is gently guide Susie back, said, Susie, this doesn't look quite right. How about, I think it might be right about here in the book. Why don't you look for it again? Okay, don't give Susie the answer, help Susie find the answer. OK, because you're all going to be judged by how good these answers come out and Susie's giving you crap. It's going to look bad on your paper. So carefully give Susie some hints as to where Susie may need to look. OK, maybe look here. I think it was in the notes under this part. Why don't you go see if that's where it is? OK, because everybody has to do some and it's probably a good idea to put the person's name by the ones they answered. Kelvis, you got a question for me? So we all turn in the sheet separately, correct? Yes, you're, everybody's getting the answers together. That's why it's going on a Google Doc, but you're all turning in your own. OK, so you're just going to copy the other ki kids answers and to yours and everybody turns in their own document. The picture, though, just one. OK, that help. OK, now let's look at the picture again because there's some some about the art. So I hope you guys are good with the questions, right? I think you guys are. Looking at the artwork and how you get to do this. Once you have, we talked about this a couple of times yesterday. One of the easier ways to do this is um, you pick your ecosystem and you you lay it all out. Every one of these guys is going to have at least two labels before their name. Okay, so this is our ecosystem, Open Ocean. Got a picture of that. Our producer, Algae. Okay, he's the only one with a single label. But look at this guy. Primary consumer, herbivore, zooplankton. He's got two labels before his name. Secondary consumer, omnivore, sardine, two labels before his name. All right. Um, tertiary consumer, carnivore, yellowfin tuna, two labels before his name. Each one has at least two labels. OK, um, and again, I told you yesterday, you, it's got tuna. It doesn't just say tuna. It says yellowfin tuna. It doesn't just say gray seal. It's I mean, it doesn't just say seal. It says gray seal. It's been a long day. All right. Now look at the orca, though. He's got three labels. This um, apex predator is not exactly necessary, but since he's on the top of the line, that's what he is. Quintanary consumer, don't worry about the spelling of it. I haven't been able to spell it right yet. Quintanary consumer, he's fifth. That means he's the fifth consumer in the line. Quintanary consumer, apex predator, carnivore. OK, so that's one way that you can do that. Once you figure out what animals you want to use, just find a really good picture of them and line them up like this. Or this is the cooler way. And remember that you do get points for effort and you do get points for creativity. Um, so what I did for this kind is I the forest is it's a deciduous forest. OK, I just downloaded a picture of a background and I stuck it down here. Now, do you remember when we were using these little rainbow things when you're working with your text boxes? I'm showing you how to do the artwork now. I'm showing you how to do the artwork now. We were using these rainbow things and some of your quest some of your computers have a dog to do this but this is the layout and what that means it tells you what's in the back and what layer everything else is in front of it so what you have to do is tell the background to go all the way to the back and that's this right here but not this one okay this says um behind text it's not showing up for me this says behind text. That means it needs to be in all the way to the back. So do you see how these kind of fly over the top of them? Okay, bringing me to this, when I was when I decided I want to put a blue J in here, okay, which you'll decide whatever you're putting in yours. I looked up blue J, no background, blue J, transparent background. And you see how you can see all the stuff behind it. There's no white spaces. All right, and the blue J came to me like this. 
OK, we are not having any giant monster blue jays in our forest, so I had to shrink the size down. OK, to be pretty close to what it would be in the tree. That's still a little big, so he'd be about here. OK, something maybe like that. OK, and then put him in his tree and um, I did the same thing with the snake and with the hawk. He came to me straight up and it looked kind of boring, so I just put him at an angle. OK, like he was swooping down to try to get people. All right, now the caterpillar, I could not find it with transparent background. So you see all the whites is still back there. So I just cropped it. OK, and I knew that because the caterpillar was going to be so small and I was going to hide him in the dandelion. OK, it wouldn't matter too much. OK, and it doesn't matter too much. Let's see, here's the dandelion moving. But do you see what I mean about the layers? See how this one is behind this other? OK, so this is what I mean by the layering. And you do that with this rainbow thing so that you get them one on top of the other. OK, does anybody have any questions about that specifically? The artwork, the questions I'm about to send you guys out. Let me see some hands. No, chat line. Uh, no, no, hands. Let's do hands. It's easier. OK, back to hands. Back to hands. No, this. This, OK, so ask me questions. Maya, do you have a question for me? I put my own hand up. OK. As, raise a hand if you got any questions. I'm about to send you guys to your groups now. <coughs> now, what we've been doing is this has been kicking my butt all day. OK, when I get you to your color groups, because that's what we're fixing to do next. All right. Now, when I say it's time to go, I need you to leave the general quickly and go to your color. It's right there on the, the teams where you sign up where it says general meet now. There's a color right beneath it. Click that and hit join. So as soon as I turn you loose, I need you in there. But the trouble is, as soon as I go to one of these others, because I have to let you in out of the lobby, nobody can let you in but me. So if you get so the quicker you get in there, when I hit blue team, if all of the blues in there, I can let you in at once. But then I have to go through all of the other colors and I won't be coming back to blue till I finish. So you might get stuck in the lobby for a little while. So when I tell you to go through, I need you to go quickly to your teams so that when I get ready to let everybody in, you are in. All right, that means you need to leave this main group right here where we are. All right, and then go to the other really quickly. But I have to turn off the camera first because that's all done. Yes, Kev Kevis, you got a question for me? You don't necessarily have to leave the group. You just it just puts you on hold. Yeah, OK, that works too. Yeah, I did notice that from some of the others. So just hit join on the color one. All right, and that way you're already back in. The, yeah, that's because that did work much, much better. So if you don't have to leave the general meeting, don't just switch to the other. Um, yeah, that works. That works because the thing about it is just make sure you're not having to listen to me yabber into each of the different groups. I think it automatically does that for you. So I'm going to turn off the recording. So I think everybody so we've got the instructions so that I can post those for everybody. And then we're going to move over to our groups. All right, so 